working on this 2019 Mitsubishi Mirage. Um, I wasn't going to make a video out of it, but I found something that I thought could be helpful, helpful for someone if they're um, needing the information, so I figured I'd make a video out of it. Um, the lady that owns this, uh, she took it to the dealership because she filled it up and she went out to start it the next morning and it wouldn't start. And uh, the fuel didn't show anything uh, on the gauge, so she had it towed to the dealer. The dealer told her that rodents had uh, got above the gas tank and ate the wiring out of it, and it was not covered under warranty. Now, Mitsubishi has very nice warranty, 100,000 miles, but evidently it doesn't cover that. That's what they said. And they said it was going to take $2,000 for them to replace the wiring harness in the car because of this. So I got in here to try to look at it and help her out. She didn't have the money to fix it. And, uh, she's having to catch a ride to work. So normally I wouldn't be working on automobiles. I am not a mechanic. In fact, uh, I'm an electrician by trade. So because I'm used to working with wiring, I thought maybe I could help her out. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I got in here and I found this thing grab the camera I pulled the back seat out of it already <clears throat> and uh, they were pretty specific about what they found they said they found wiring above the gas tank so at first I come in here and I was looking at all this stuff and it all looks really good so I'm like hell you know the rodents aren't gonna get inside so it makes sense so I started looking underneath it and you can see the things on jacks because I've been under it and everywhere looking um, by the way I did unplug the battery before I started any of this stuff. This would be pretty dangerous if I didn't. So if you look in here, you can see where this wiring group here goes out and it goes under. See here, I'm wiggling that and there's a little rubber grommet right there that seals that off. Um, but you can see in here, and all this is color coded pretty well. So rodents Got in there and they chewed it up. Sure enough, that's what definitely has happened. And, um, and I've taken a lot of pictures, so I'll be able to document where the wires were coming from and everything before I take it out. But I'm getting ready to disconnect these, disconnect that stuff there, pull it back out. And then uh, I'm going to try to see if I can't figure out a way to get a really good connection on these um, snap-on connectors, these plug-ins. So I'm going to take them apart and kind of play it by ear and see if I can do it. But I do know this. There's a lot of good wiring from here. This is all in really good shape, and it's not damaged until it goes beneath this uh, below-the-seat metal panel that's under it. It goes beneath that, and it's damaged and chewed up kind of right here where my fingers are back over into these two uh, snap-in plug-in connectors. So I think this is fixable. I don't see... $2,000. That, that almost seems ridiculous. I'm going to see if I can repair it for her. Hopefully I can. But uh, if it, it looks like this is the only problem, and if that's the case, I believe this is repairable. So we'll find out how it goes from here. Um, my goal is to, I'm going to do away with the pressure sensor. I'm going to see if it'll run without the sensor. And then I'm just going to make a, kind of a temporary connection to confirm this thing's going to run with this connection and that'll check the gauge and the uh, components of the canister I believe the fuel pumps in there as well so we're gonna get that going make sure it'll run and then I'm gonna clean it all up I'm gonna move this I'm gonna need to take it down and solder some ends back on it because it's a little tight to be able to splice here so I'm gonna extend those wires pull all this out fan it out and get it prepped and ready to be able to uh, rewire it cleanly so it can be within compliance with the uh, location it is with the fuel components in the back of the car.
Okay, so I've got the wiring temporary in. So we're mainly, this is the pressure sensor uh, plug. And I believe it may run without the pressure sensor. If not, we'll have to wait until tomorrow, but I'm just today trying to get a really good quick feel for if it's gonna run when we put the components back together. I don't think the sensors or anything below the canister is gonna be damaged from you know what's happened with the wiring getting chewed up. So simply, or <laughs> we've simply went back with um, the wiring where it goes on the plug-in that goes to the components of the canister and we're leaving out the wiring to the sensor. Should run that way, we'll see. If not, then we'll have to wait until tomorrow to get the sensor connected back up because I have to solder some ends. They're too short to do this way. Let me connect the battery. <clears throat> Always disconnect the battery before doing something like that. May not be able to see, but I am wearing safety glasses. Okay. Now, let's see what we have here. Now, before, the gas gauge wasn't working. Got a gas gauge now. Okay, it's full, and it is full. going to probably throw some kind of pressure sensor alarm or hell maybe it don't even matter who knows we will see anyway our little uh, mission here seems promising at this point so the biggest thing I'll need to do guys don't be intimidated by this engine when I walk by it it's, it'll probably stay where it's at without jumping out and attacking it this is a, I think it's, this is one, two, three, I don't know, I must have cut that one short, it didn't make it all the way through the assembly line, they left one of the pistons out of that thing, it looks like, because it's a, we think that it is one, two, three, yeah, what a monster, okay, here we go. <laughs> the rats could have probably ate the whole car if they had more time. All right, check this out. Okay, temporary for now. It is working without the sensor, but I will get the sensor all put back in. So I'm gonna use solder and heat shrink and you know, just make very nice clean connections. Fan all this out, make good connections, bring it back in, tuck it back through, put this little grommet back through the hole in the wiring and we'll call this baby done. All right. I'll take it down the road. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. All right, there it is, all nice and finished. Take one last look before I button it up. There we go, all done. 
Put the seat and all that back on. Oh, hey. And for my next video, I would like to take this and put it in this. Think it'll fit? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not such a good idea. All right. Hope you enjoyed. And see ya.